guys, it's Ashley and we're in the parking lot at Barnes & Noble, so you know what that means. It means we're going book shopping. I didn't know I was in the video. You didn't, you didn't tell me I was in the video. I was reading about my, uh, Max Goveri. Anyway, I want to say it's been about a month and a half since I bought any books. So I thought it was about time we do that. So we're going to take you along for the journey. But first, a word from Ashley in another room that is not a car so we could talk about today's sponsor. Hi, it's Ashley in another room that's not a car. Not really sure why I said it that way in that clip, but can't really go back and change it now. Anyway, today we're here to talk about today's sponsor, Book of the Month. Book of the Month is a super popular and fast growing online book service for readers and their goal is to promote new and emerging authors to help readers discover new books that they love. Their team vets hundreds of books each month and curates a selection of new and early release titles for their readers. Book of the Month is risk free, meaning you can skip at any month at any time and you will not get charged. Plus they have the best price for new release hardcover fiction, which I've mentioned before can get pretty pricey sometimes. And if you're not already signed up, you can get your very first book for just $9.99 with my code Dash of Ash. I'll have a link down in the description below if you want to check it out. Now without further ado, let's talk about the five books that they have chosen for this month. There is a very good selection here and I'm very excited to share it with you. First up, we have The Heart Principle by Helen Huang in which a woman struggling with burnout learns to embrace the unexpected and the man she enlists to help her. We have Once There Were Wolves by Charlotte McConaughey in which a woman journeys to Scotland with her sister, determined to save the wilderness and the creature she loves if she isn't consumed by the wild that was once her refuge. Coming in at number three is Not a Happy Family by Sherry Lapina, a domestic suspense of a wealthy family unraveling after their parents are murdered. Then we have what would most likely be my choice, The Inheritance of Orquidea Divina by Zoraida Cordova. This is an early release fantasy story following the Montoyas who receive a truly magical inheritance inheritance at their matriarch's funeral, and then seven years later it must travel back to Ecuador to learn of the secret she buried just as a hidden figure seeks to destroy their family tree. And finally we have Damnation Spring by Ash Davidson, which is a debut that kind of gives me Erin Brockovich meets Silent Spring vibes in a way, where a family struggles to make ends meet in a logging town that is super divided over the fate of its forest. So those are all of the titles that you can choose from for August. Like I said, if I were choosing, I would probably end up doing The Inheritance of Orchidea Divina because it just sounds so good and also it's a fantasy and I love those. So remember you guys, I will have a link in the description down below as well as my code that you can use to get your first book for just $9.99. So make sure to head down there before you click out of this video. And thank you once again to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video and for supporting me and my work. Now back to Ashley in the car so we can get on to book shopping. Max Coveri, born Maurizio de Porio, is an Italian American singer active since 1991. He was born in Trento, Italy. Like most musicians in the Eurobeat genre, De Horio has performed under a number of pseudonyms for various labels. <gasps> he was born the day after me! Wait, so is this the Dave Rogers guy? Or no, is this, this is Max Coveri. He's the one oh, he's the other in the one? 90s, yeah. Amanda is introducing me to Super Eurobeat. A whole new genre of music I didn't know existed, and I'm I'm not sure how I feel yet. There's an album on Spotify that everyone should check out. It's called Super Eurobeat Pre Presents Initial D. Really good shit. Out of the bookstore. <laughs> Volume 3 of Heartstopper, which I'm totally getting because I've been wanting this and just haven't gone out to get it yet, so definitely this one. And I'm debating on The Near Witch. It's the only Victoria Schwab book I don't have, I think. So I might as well get it. People make me self-conscious and there's a lot of people in here right now and it's really making me self-conscious and I'm really worried somebody's gonna tell me not to do this, so I keep hiding and it's not fun. <laughs> it's really not fun. <laughs> but Amanda's trying to give me motivation. My favorite book in the whole entire world. It makes me cry every time I read it. Shut up. This is my favorite book in the whole world. 
I read this when I was like Wait, 12. Do, do you remember, remember this? Yeah. yeah, this is like vampires going to school. It's I like actually, the Vampire Diaries, but like not. I never read them. I remember you reading them. Though. I read them. I read so many of them. Oh my god. Amanda really likes the cover of Yolk. But I'm not gonna read it because it sounds too sad. Wait a second. Order, a classic first-born narc with a vile finance job in a soulless apartment. Dane, on the other hand, is an emotionally stunted, self-obsessed crybaby who lives in squalor. That's me and you! <laughs> You're the self-obsessed crybaby who well, lives yeah, in squalor. Well, yeah, obviously. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. And I'm apparently the narc. Yeah, and Jane needs to get her ass to class. Me. <laughs> How to Knit a Murder. What's your favorite book? Sacred History by Donna Tartt. Oh, this yeah. one is also one of my favorite books. The <laughs> Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. This was a fun movie. <laughs> one of the worst movies I've ever seen. <laughs> I can attest to that. We tried watching it on the plane on the way back from Greece and so we got bad. through like an hour before we were like, nope, time to go to sleep now. Quentin Tarantino should have stopped making movies after Inglorious Bastards. We all know that was his best movie. Why'd you stop? <laughs> because that guy came out. Why'd you stop? I was giving my Quentin Tarantino speech. And that was a PSA from Amanda. Wait, what is a light novel? I get what a graphic novel is. What is a light novel? <laughs> is it like a mix between a graphic novel and a regular novel? Oh yeah, that's probably what it is. Or maybe it's just like a, a book with pictures. Okay. That's why I picked it up. <laughs> so we're back from the bookstore and I wanted to go ahead and just wrap up this video by telling you guys what I ended up buying. So let's go ahead and talk about this little haul that I have. So the first book that I ended up getting was Heartstopper Volume 3 by Alice Oseman, which I have been wanting ever since it came out. And I know the Volume 4 is going to be coming out, I think, in December possibly. And yes, I did technically already read this volume on Webtoon before it was released and before I got this copy. But I just wanted this copy because I love rereading this series. It's just one of those books that you can dive into. And within like an hour, you've read like the whole thing because it's a graphic novel series and it's just so sweet and it's so fun and it always puts a smile on my face so I'm really happy that I ended up picking this one up because now I have it and I can read it whenever I want and there's that. <laughs> this one is also really fun because they take a school field trip to Paris and there's like so many things that happen there. So I'm really excited to reread this and to remember what I loved about it when I read it on Webtoon. And then the next book that I ended up getting was, I believe, I could be mistaken, but I believe the only Victoria Schwab book that I don't have in my collection and that is The Near Witch. To be completely honest with you, I'm not exactly sure what this is about or what this is classified as or anything. I found this in the adult fantasy section with like A Darker Shade of Magic and The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, but I'm not sure if it was placed there because that's the genre and the like uh, classification that like the age range it is, or if it's because she went by V.E. Schwab in this one. Like I'm not really sure. I always thought that this was like a middle grade, but maybe I was totally wrong. I, d I don't know. In my head, I always thought it was. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I think I'm just going to go into this completely blind, like not knowing anything about it and just see what happens. I really don't know. I just know that like children start disappearing from this town and that's it. So we're going to go into this one blind. Maybe I'll do like a little 
Victoria Schwab reading vlog where I try to catch up on all of the V.E. Schwab books that I haven't yet read. Does that sound like a good time? Let me know. And yeah, so these are the only two books that I ended up getting. I didn't want to get like a massive amount because I have so many books and there are so many things that I really want to get to like so soon but it's just such a struggle because I just have these moments where I can't decide what I want to read and then because I'm stressed because I can't decide what I want to read I just end up reading nothing and instead I'm starting like a new tv show or something so I'm kind of in one of those moments now and I went into the bookstore with no expectations of like what I wanted and this is what I came out with so there's that. I don't typically like to go into a bookstore with like a list of things that I'm looking for. I, I don't know why. I just like to, you know, meander and amble around the store and find things myself. And if something catches my eye and I'm like, oh, I've been thinking about that, then I'll get it. Um, and if not, then I won't get it. So it's, it's not that hard. I don't know. I just, I like not having a plan and just going in and doing whatever the heck I want. That is until people start staring at you when you're vlogging and you get worried that the employees are going to tell you that you can't film in the store so then you start running and hiding into various corners of the store trying not to get the same b-roll over and over again because you can't go into the busier parts which have the more books it's a big problem but hopefully i did okay anyway okay i'm gonna stop rambling on these are the two books that i got i hope you guys enjoyed coming on this little bookstore journey with me again um hopefully next time i will go to a different bookstore but we don't really have many around me so i'd have to drive like an hour out of my way just to get there so i'll think about it i'll think about it for next time but um anyway thank you guys for coming with me but i think that is going to be it for this video so if you want to follow me on any of my socials all my handles are in the description Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you later. Bye!